Redmond um, from the United States. I go by the performing uh, moniker Blipvert. I'm doing the odd stream in conjunction with a, a record label called Eat Concrete. Eat Concrete is a, is a Dutch label uh, run by a guy named uh, Toon de Reper. Toon has just been phenomenal in uh, getting new music to the general public. Uh, he takes a lot of risks and he takes, uh, he, well I should say he takes a lot of risks in uh, promoting music that not a lot of people know about. Um, and that's a very difficult thing to do, especially in this modern day and age. Uh, but it's something that needs to be done. It's something that, uh, that many people are doing despite uh, lack of money, despite lack of, uh, of promotion, despite lack of uh, notability. My goal and my mission uh, for the for the entirety of my artistic experience has basically been uh, how to take electronic music to the limit, how to take it to the absolute extreme, how to make it uh, more engaging, uh, more hands-on, uh, more exciting, as you might uh, feel when you're watching a band. My electronic music uh, performances involve a lot of improvisation. Um, I sort of, I, I did uh, cut my teeth uh, on the uh, the early, uh, t the turn of the century uh, in the New York uh, downtown improvising scene. Um, and a lot of my background and my compositional uh, ideas and performance ideas come from improvisation. Right now, I'm currently staying at the Stein Institute in Amsterdam which is a research center for electronic music and tools for electronic music performers. That is an institution that is funded entirely by the government. So I think uh, when the government steps in and says culture is important, culture, art, music, what have you, is important, there's something to be said for that that, uh, that keeps electronic music events, arts events, festivals like this alive, um, maybe still on the fringe, but alive as opposed to not at all or barely functioning at all, like in the States, where there is no government intervention as far as culture is concerned. I congratulate uh, all of the Oddstream staff uh, for making this work and, uh, and for, for working just so hard in order to pull this off. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, the, the, with the, there will be enough attendance today and tomorrow uh, so that they can earn back some of what they've put into this. Uh, that's always the main concern. Monetary uh, issues are always the main concern. And I can't really blame people. Um, it's getting uh, economically in the modern era, it's getting very, very hard uh, to pull off festivals like this. Uh, it's getting very hard to do any artistic activity at all. Uh, so when I see a festival like this, when I see a festival of people coming together and sharing what is unique about each and every one of them, and when I see them uh, doing what they do best and taking chances and taking risks in expressing themselves. Um, it's, it's one of the greatest things because uh, you don't see it too much anymore um, and I hope to see it a lot more in the future.